Hey guys, welcome back to XTA. Today we're going to talk about an application that will help you save battery, but also does all of this stuff at the same time being very, very lean. Let's check it out. So we're looking at two different devices, obviously the Nexus 6, which is running Lollipop, and the Note 4, which is running the Android KitKat 444. The reason why I wanted to show you guys this is because the application we're looking at today is LeanDroid, and the LeanDroid application itself has different UIs depending on the system. So if you're running Lollipop, it will automatically take advantage of material design and actually build it into the actual application. But if you run the exact same application on a KitKat-based device, you're going to see that the actual aesthetics is very closer to the original version of the application itself. This is the free version. We're looking at both the same version of the application. They're both free. There are some pro features that you do have to purchase a pro version to be able to use. But even in the basic form of the application, it does actually perform very well as far as saving your battery. And this is really, really necessary on some of the applications, or at least devices that use a lot of, you know, 2K displays or Quad HD displays such as these two devices and need to be able to last at least through an entire day with nice heavy usage. What we see here essentially is the basic features. You do need notice that there's a little bit of a lock on all of these things and it's more prominent here, of course, on the Note 4. So for the rest of this video, we're gonna go ahead and stick to the Note 4. And as usual, I'll remove my handy stabilizer centralize the phone and what we look here essentially is these are the options that are pre-selected by default once you install the application it does turn itself on there is no persistent notification running but you do have the ability of showing it if you choose to keep it so it sits in there if you need it it has a very low uh, requirement for a notification so you don't necessarily have to show it there what you do have is the ability to basically see uh, all the options out of the box. Like I said, the little boxes or the little uh, you know locked options are the ones that you cannot change unless you have the pro version. And I'll get you through these. By default, it disables Wi-Fi, cellular data, and Bluetooth to be able to conserve power. Now, if you're using a Bluetooth uh, 4.0 LE, I would recommend just unchecking this because the low, low energy ones don't generally eat too much power and don't really impact your battery at that much. So uh, keep that in mind. The ability also, of course, to re-enable the data, and that's basically after screen unlock, which means if you turn on the screen, it doesn't automatically return on the data. It requires you to unlock the screen to be able to do that. So if you prefer to have it directly when you turn on the screen, just check the box. Otherwise, it gives you the ability of basically setting the, you know, the periodically after screen off, uh, and then it gives you the ability, except if the battery is below 15%. If you turn off data and you have battery below 15%, it's almost like going into ultra saving po mode as far as power saving. It requires you to actually manually turn on data. You still have cellular connection, which gives you the ability of making and receiving calls. And as far as I remember, I think it also allows you to send and receive text messages, but you cannot send and receive picture messages, so no MMS and you're able to extend the life of the battery till you're able to get to a charger. Of course, you have the ability of doing the uh, waiting after 10 seconds and turning it on. That's one of the other options. Uh, you're also able, so able to turn on a feature which it says uh, periodically after screen is off. So you can check this option. It gives you, it says, every 60 minutes, it will turn it on for 60 seconds and then turn it back off. Uh, this is really good in sense of you want to make sure to still get your emails, still make sure you're getting information as, you, as your device is basically sitting in hibernation or in deep sleep. Uh, unfortunately, cellular radio and GPS are not available out of the free version uh, and do require root functionality. So those things you need to have. But outside the box, when you first get this option, it really works very nicely without necessarily getting too much permissions. Uh, last thing here we have is just show notification, as I showed you before, rating other applications by the developer and contacting them. And you also have the ability of going into five minutes after screen is off. It, I changed the value where it basically turns off uh, the interval. I set it to five. It used to be ten. And then you have the ability of turning on some exceptions. The free ones, again, except if you're tethering, if you're connecting it to your AC, or if you're actually, you know, except if you're charging it via USB or wireless charging, it does not turn off your data because it recognizes, obviously, power is not an issue at that point. But you do have other options as well that you require you to have pro. So from what you guys could see, the actual hands-on, the application is very nice and very simple. Uh, and that's really where the benefit of it. It comes in about 267 kilobytes. It's so small that it has such a small impact on your system as far as a footprint or you know, usage. It does provide more benefit than what it actually you know, hinders on the system itself. Uh, the options, are, of course, I was showing you guys the free version. There's a pro version if you'd like to support the developer to upgrade to that. 
Uh, I like the fact that, you know, when I install the application and I tested this mostly on my Note 4, on my Nexus 6, there is a built-in battery feature that gives you an extended battery uh, functionality. Note 4 has one built into it as well, but it, the reason why I used it mostly on my Note 4 is I noticed that my Note 4 battery consumption was much faster than my no Nexus 6. And it was able to extend my usage to about over 20, about a 24 hour period of usage on my Note 4 uh, on a start on a basically mid to heavy usage day when I'm checking email consistently, you know, I play a few games, watch a few videos, so on. Those things usually take a lot of time and a lot of power out of your system. Now, overall, I think it does have a main benefit. You can do some of these things with some other applications such as Tasker, such as uh, other automation systems. But again, it depends on what you need and if that's what you need out of the system and you want to be able to control a lot more than just basic, you know, turning on Wi-Fi and, and turning on your radios, then maybe Tasker is an option for you. Otherwise, this simple lean application will do everything that you need to help you manage and give you a better, longer lasting battery on your device, regardless of the size of your device. Um, you know, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have entered into my giveaway of the Olala Power 10,000 milliamp power bank, please check my channel. I went ahead and posted the winner of that power bank. And as usual, we'll see you guys soon.